Hello, today uh, we are going to discuss the septic tank design method. This is a previous year uh, question uh, which was asked uh, during the exam May 2024. Okay, this is from uh, module 5 of CEG 304. So, we will go into the question. So, this is the question. You need to design a septic tank for a small colony of 200 persons with a water supply of 200 uh, liters per capita per day uh, assuming the data required okay so, so this is the question so uh, we have give, uh, given the total population of the area okay so total population of the area is 200 and the water supply of that area is 200 liters per capita per day okay so this uh, data are given other data we can assume so our first step is to calculate the total sewage discharge okay so first we need to calculate the sewage discharge so here, uh, the in question they are given the rate of water supply. Okay, so uh, from that uh, water supply rate, we need to calculate the domestic uh, sewage rate. So how we calculate that? We know that the uh, domestic uh, sewage produced can be assumed equal to seventy to eighty percent of rate of water supply. Okay, so here it is given two hundred liters uh, uh, per capita per uh, day. Uh, from that we can calculate the sewage as 80 percent of that that is 0.8 into rate of water supply okay into total population that will give the sewage discharge of that area so which is equal to 32,000 liters per day okay so uh, if it is given directly the rate of uh, sewage uh, then we need to uh, multiply this that with the population if they are given the rate of water supply then uh, uh, that from that we first need to calculate the sewage okay that is it is equal to 70 to 80 percent of the rate of water supply okay so don't forget this thing it is given rate of water supply so i multiply that with 0 0.8 if they are directly given the rate of sewage just multiply that with the population okay so we got the sewage discharge it is per day if you, uh, you, can, you can um convert that into per hour by dividing 24 we get it as 133.3 liter per hour it is not mandatory here now next uh, we need to calculate the second step is calculate the volume of sewage okay so we have to calculate the volume of sewage we know that is equal to discharge into that so here uh, nothing is mentioned about the retention period so you can assume is it as 24 hours so we are assuming the time as 24 hours the tension period as 24 hours see the total volume of sewage is equal to discharge total discharge into time which is equal to 32,000 liters okay then the third step is calculate the sludge volume of sludge okay here uh, nothing is mentioned about the rate of sludge deposition rate of sludge deposition is not given in the question so we can assume it as 30 liters per hour per year okay and also there is nothing mentioned about the desludging period so that is about the cleaning period that also we can assume so i am assuming it as one year okay so from uh, this assumption we can calculate the volume of sludge is equal to rate of sludge deposition into total population into cleaning period so we'll get this as 6000 liters okay so we got the volume of sewage as 32000 liters and volume of sludge as 6000 liters that is total volume or the total capacity of the tank total volume of sewage is equal to 32000 plus 6000 that is 38,000 liters which is the total volume of sewage or the total uh, volume tank capacity okay so uh, we can uh, convert that into meter cube which is equal to 38 meter cube so this is the total volume of tank according to this we need to fix the dimensions of tank all right so they are nothing uh, mentioned about the depth or height of the tank so i am assuming that also so next i am assuming the depth of tank depth of tank as we can assume it is 1 to 1.5 meter okay so i am taking here it as 1.5 meter so 
so if you know the height or depth of tank we can calculate the surface area of tank okay so surface area is equal to total volume is 38 volume divided by depth so we will get this so it is around 25.33 meter square so we got the area next we need to uh, fix some ratio for the length and breadth it is also not given in the question so we can fix it as L is to be as 4 is to 1 or length is 4 times width. Okay. From this, we can calculate area is B into L or B into 4 times B is equal to 25.33. From this, I will get B as around 2.51 meter. So, once I got the breadth, we can calculate the length is equal to 4 times B. That is around 0.08. It is for 10.08 meter. Okay. Again, I am assuming a free board for the tank, a free board of 0.3 meters. Total depth is equal to 1.5 plus 0.3, that is 1.8 meter is the total depth of my tank. And uh, so, if you uh, find the depth, uh, length, and breadth, so finally we can fix the dimensions. Dimension of tank as length is 10.10 meter by width 2.51 meter by the height 1.8 meter so this is the dimension of the septic tank okay so this is a 14 mark question so first we need to calculate the total volume of the total capacity of the tank from that we need to fix a ratio for length and breadth and finally we need to find the dimension of the tank okay so this is a simple numerical problem just try this thank you